Hi ladies, you're looking at a screen today because it's Les Blackstock from Enhanced Clinic and discussing some issues of breast implants. And you can see on the screen we have the warning from the FDA in the United States on uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, ALCL. So what we've got now is the knowledge that there is a warning from both the American and the Australian health regulatory agencies in reference to this very rare cancer and it's been very remotely associated with breast implants. The statistics I've been told are this can occur each four and a half thousand implants and they do occur in clusters so in certain areas these can develop not all the time. The research is still ongoing they're suggesting it may be related to some bacteria. The cancer itself is quite rare it's a one in a thousand risk of occurrence compared to breast cancer itself which is actually about a 9% risk in lifetime. Now this cancer, if detected, can be quite treated. It's related usually to swellings around on ultrasounds. So we say to people, if you have an implant, you should be aware this very low risk exists. The implant manufacturers are coming up with types of implants now which have been shown to have less association and a very low level. And we say, okay, let's use those implants Let's make sure you're aware. Ultrasounds is usually the detection, and if we find any small collection of fluid, we should be biopsying that fluid to work out what you have. And then if we find it, we refer you quickly, get the problem treated, and it can be cured. So again, not a reason to panic, and in my eyes, not a reason not to have implants if it's part of your desire, but you should be aware of it, and we tell everyone in our consultation and in our paperwork. So repeat the name, it's ALCL, a very rare occurring cancer that is associated but not causative from breast implants. You should be aware of it and we care about you and we'll help you understand it. Catch you later girls.